My name is Cleopas Chilolo, and I'm making this uh, public statement to address certain comments I made about uh, Dr. Grace Mugabe, the former First Lady of Zimbabwe, together with the comments I made in respect of the former First Family in Episode 4 of the recently Ed Al Jazeera Gold Mafia series. I wish to render my unconditional apologies to Dr. Grace Mugabe and to the NDF former first family for the falsehood I mentioned about them in the said episode. I wish to clarify that I never willingly presented myself to provide any information to Al Jazeera News Network. The individuals who secretly reported me and actually approached me intending to offer my family scholarships to study abroad. It was in this meeting that the subject changed and they reviewed it to my shock that they actually intended on smuggling minerals out of Zimbabwe. I wish to I wish the general public to know that it is untrue that Dr. Grace Mugabe did the various illegal things I mentioned in the video. Specifically, it is untrue that Dr. Grace Mugabe killed elephants for ivory. It is untrue that Dr. Grace Mugabe smuggled the said ivory in hordes of containers through Robert Mugabe International Airport. It is untrue that Dr. Grace Mugabe would send a plane to Chiaz for mining fields to collect diamonds and smuggle them outside Zimbabwe. It is untrue that Dr. Grace Mugabe devised a scheme to smuggle minerals and ivory behind the late former President Robert Mugabe's back. It is untrue that Dr. Grace Mugabe and the first family made a lot of money smuggling minerals out of the country. I am aware of the reputational damage I have caused the former first family, and in particular Dr. Grace Mugabe, and I sincerely apologize for the falsehoods that have stained the image of the former first family and indeed that of Dr. Grace Mugabe. May I indicate to the general public that the statements I made were coerced by the individual secretly reporting me, which moment of such coercion does not appear in the selective clips that they decided to show the world. I wish to state that the time of the meeting and indeed the recordings, my mental faculties had been manipulated by what I assumed to be drinks spiked by a suppressant to the extent that I do not even recall saying the said statements, even though I acknowledge that the video shows me to do so. It was unwise, immature, and extremely unfortunate that I resorted to lying as I did whilst soiling the reputation of Dr. Grace Mugabe and her family. For that, once again, I apologize.